Hi there, I'm Leela Francis. I'm the founder of Vividly Woman. Welcome. I want to talk to you about something today, making love to life. This is a big part of the Vividly Woman community. And what do I mean by that? Well, most of us spend less than 5% of our lives actually having sex. And I don't know about you, but I want my life to be that delicious all the time, you know? Not just between the sheets or on the kitchen counter once in a while. I want my life to be as juicy as possible every day. But let's face it, you know, we're not always walking around having orgasmic, explosive experiences. But, you know, let's think about it. Even when we're making love, sometimes we're not completely present. I know for me that what happens is sometimes I'll be making love to my partner and all of a sudden I'll wake up and I'll notice, wow, I'm not even really here. I'm kind of distancing. And so what I'll do is I'll, I'll say that to him. I'll say, you know what, I'm, I've kind of checked out and I've gone somewhere else. And, and he'll say, yeah, I could kind of tell. And so either I'll modify my experience and I'll come back here and just having brought awareness to it will help me do that. But other times I'll say, you know what, what I really need right now is just to be held, just to be still. And then it becomes a making love, whether we're having full out orgasmic experiences, we're just being together and snuggling. And likewise, that happens in my everyday life. You know, I'll be going through the motions, going through my day, and I'll wake up and I'll notice, wow, I'm not even really here. It happened to me the other day when I went to a Zumba class, and it was my first time. I'd never been to Zumba before, and I wanted to check it out. And I have nothing against Zumba, but what I discovered is that between the combination of the very loud music and the very fast movements, it didn't really work for me, and I was going somewhere else. I was going to automatic pilot just to kind of keep up. And so I made a decision, okay, I'm going to modify the movements in order to be here and in order to enjoy the experience. I could have likewise decided, you know what, I'm just going to go. I'm going to leave because there's something else I could be doing somewhere else I could be where I can really, really be. You know, there are other times when I'm making love and I'm so completely surrendered, I'm so completely open to the experience. I'm, I'm opening, I'm melting, I'm merging into oneness with my beloved. But if I'm not there to notice that, then how delicious can that really be? So, likewise, in our everyday lives, we could be out in a beautiful nature experience. We could be enjoying a beautiful time with a, with a child. But if we're not really there, if every one of our pores is an opening and our cells are not drinking in the experience, how delicious could it be? So I want to invite you to notice the times when you're checking out, when your mind has left your body. And that happens to all of us. There's nothing wrong with that. But what we want to do is we want to become masters of noticing. We want to notice when we've split off, when we've checked out, and then gently forgive ourselves and come home. So thank you for listening and I invite you to notice when you leave and to gently come home. Namaste.